Carl, you mentioned a second ago about not paying attention to how you feel. And um, just last week, um, I was getting ready to take mom for an, an appointment, and um, I was feeling really poorly. I mean, I was feeling chilled, and I thought, oh my gosh, it felt like a really serious virus that had taken root. And um, so I laid down just for a minute and waited, and I said, Lord, I'm going to take my temperature, and if I don't have a temperature, I'll, I'll continue to pick up mom, and we'll just walk through this, no matter how I feel. And I took my temperature, it wouldn't even get up to 97. I thought, oh my gosh, I really am frozen. <laughs> but, <laughs> but literally, I said, okay, I'm going. But the Lord said to me, he said, you have a choice. And he's never really said that to me before concerning these symptoms that were trying to come on me. And I go, oh, I do have a choice. Because they were making me feel horrible. Even when I drove over to mom's and picked her up and <laughs> she goes, are you okay? And I go, I don't feel okay. But literally by the time we got downtown to the doctor's appointment, the symptoms started lifting. And by the time we got into the appointment, every symptom was gone. And literally, the, the enemy was just like a big boogeyman. He was like going, boop, 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 boop. sick, 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 your flu, flu, cold, something. Take something. Please take something. And literally, I had to decide. I had to choose. Nope. Those are not mine. None of those are mine. And literally, I said it out loud. I don't receive these symptoms in Jesus' name. They're not mine. And then as I walked and as I went on my way, every symptom left. So sometimes we just have to take that step of faith and not, by go, not go by how we feel, especially when something is coming on us or we can tell the enemy is right there, just about ready to overtake us with some something nasty. <laughs> he wants he wants to knock us out, doesn't he? He wants to keep us out of um, action. And uh, so, Lord, I just thank you that you spoke that day, and it really put a cog in my understanding and wisdom. When things come, you have a choice. So, Lord, we choose life. We choose health and strength, like you've been talking about, Carl. We choose it. Even this t tonight, we choose life and health and strength in Jesus' name.